Um, welcome everyone to Banishment. Um, Cam is the most annoying human alive. We will be having double eviction tonight. It will be Banishment into Challenge. Uh, I will give you five minutes <laughs> Queen, and then we will go into banishment again. Um, oh. I say Cam is annoying because he literally posted like, what do we need for the challenge today? And Thank you for everything. saying it uh, in here instead of in our DMs. It's really nice <laughs> to have it out in the open. Do you feel exposed? <laughs> no, I think everybody knows. Um, okay, so, ooh, ooh. Hi. Hi. hi, Jake's mom. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, I wanted more time with her. Um, okay, so you guys know the flow. I'm going to ask some questions. We'll talk for a bit, and then it will be time to slack who you'd like to vote out. It will be more brief tonight, since we do have to get through two banishments and a challenge. Um, so to begin with, we had our loved ones visit yesterday, and congratulations, Jerry. You and Mel won. Um, had you, is she following along? Had you given her any insight to like, did you give her any pep talk before of like, I need you to win this or anything like that? Uh, no, because I trust her like intuitively and she's amazing. And I mean, like winning is something new for me in the context of this game. And it's, I think it's fitting that the family visit was the one I won because she did everything and I did nothing. So, um, yeah, she's amazing. She, she, she's got what it takes to win season four. If there is. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, no, everyone's hitting me up about jury. They just need to join, you know, I'm not going to remember ever. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so Jake, you were, Anna was so close to winning. She was truly on the last level and then kind of a freak refresh. What what happened there? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened technically, but she was uh, on level six and I think at least two or three levels ahead of everybody else. She had a, a really strong lead at that point. Um, and then, yeah, something happened. I don't know if she clicked something or, or pressed something on the keyboard or the the page just refreshed, but yeah, back to square one. It was heartbreaking. Love you, um, Anna. You're great. And how did you, you know, it, it's kind of complicated when you have your loved one come on and play because they do kind of feel guilty if they don't win it for you. Did you experience that with her after the fact? Oh yeah, she apologized so many times and was so upset. And she's such a like fan herself that she was just very excited to win a challenge like that. She just wanted to have that on, on her resume. and. Uh, yeah, it was, it was disappointing, but, you know, I still love her. She did an amazing job, and nothing was anybody's fault, so it happened. So, Anna's trying to build her resume for season four, is what you're telling me? <laughs> Already. Coming a in season challenge win. Anna versus Mel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Deanna, you and Kendall also did really well, and were kind of in that, you know, into the second round. How was it for you competing with your roommate? It was really fun. I feel like... I, if I were to choose anyone to play the newlywed game with, it would be her because, like, I can't think of anything that we haven't shared with each other. So that was really fun. Um, it was also very fun to, when she answered, like, the question of what Survivor winner is Deanna was like, because she's never watched, like, a single second of the show. So I was kind of excited to see what she would answer for that. Um, but it was great. I, I really, I loved that. It was an amazing challenge. So speaking of um, people who might not know each other well, Cam, you and Robbie, despite being together for many years, you knew I was going to come for you. Mm -hmm. What happened? You guys did not do well in that newlywed game at all. Uh, everybody is coming for me all the time. I'm just like getting used to it. Um, I don't know. I actually messaged Robbie that morning and I was like, hey, I don't know when this challenge is, but I feel like we should like practice. Last time you it learned was some the things about newlywed each other. game. Um, and I was just like, here is like my survivor crush. And like, here is like these things. And we still did not do well. Um, honestly, there were times where he was right about me and I was wrong, which is like, sh goes to show what this game does to you, where you mm -hmm. like second guess so much that you can't even think of the right answer about yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, Casey, you had your brother, your brother on, and it was very, uh, fun to watch because it seems like he's never, has he ever watched Survivor? No. Okay. No. Did he have any idea what was going on? No, he for sure didn't, but he 
was excited to at least be a part of it because I think my whole family doesn't know anything about this and so they're trying to be supportive but they just don't know so it was real fun to have him join and at least be a part of it for a second you know Mm -hmm. so Allison you know an interesting thing that happened yesterday in the newlywed game is we did ask more personal questions right like you know, high school stuff, or maybe where do you work, things like that. Are these all things, or are some of those things um, stuff that you guys have discussed in Slack, or was anything yesterday kind of revealing to your fellow contestants? Oh, you mean this, not Colleen? Yes, correct. Uh, No, we couldn't remember what the challenge was last time, (laughs) and it's mysteriously not on YouTube, so um, I, I, um, Like, Colleen didn't tip her hat that she was my person because I gave up a bunch of people because we weren't sure what day it was going to be. So Colleen's like, what should I do? I'm like, try these puzzles. Like, I I couldn't remember the newlywed part of it. So it didn't come up in any of the conversations I had on Slack yesterday, other than the people being like, what was the challenge? (laughs) Like, sure. And I just realized, so my question, I didn't, I wasn't very clear and I'll just ask it to Jerry now. It revealed information about you guys. And I'm wondering Mm. if the information that was revealed, Jerry, was any of that new to you? Um, I think the the, the newest piece of information was Casey having five tattoos and she still hasn't (laughs) explained where they are and what they are of. Um, That's probably the most mysterious thing, so. I also spent at least 20 minutes pondering that and being like, Casey, 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 did not expect that. Um, Casey, were you, you know, that information was revealed. How did you feel about that? Well, (laughs) he for sure knew that I had tattoos, so I don't quite understand how he didn't know how many I had. But, I mean, you know, I guess he didn't really understand the number, but... There's some that are super visible, so I don't quite understand how he didn't know, but. (laughs) Um, Erin, you are someone who also was very, you and Raina were very close to winning, Um, and, you know, you and I slacked about it a little bit last night. You, unfortunately, were not looking at the right page of what Raina was doing. Um, Did you have any sort of conversation with her after, because and I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, but she kind of persevered despite you being on the wrong page. And she has for the last four and a half years, Kelsey. Um, Yeah, I would say she kind of did what she always does, which is kind of just ignore my big mouth and kind of do her thing um, to the best of her ability. And she's very smart and capable, so. I love, <laughs> I think, and she didn't, she said that she would have told me, but she was muted and that there, she was not going to deviate away from the <laughs> I Fair absolutely enough. respect that. Um, so Jerry, last banishment, you played an idol and, you know, we saw you purchase an idol in the auction. What made you feel like you needed to play it? Was it just people want to flush it because they knew you bought it and let's just get that off the table immediately? I think, yeah, I think people were expecting me not to play it and to keep, keep it close to me. And, and, you know, I, I, I sense that instinct and you have to ride your gut in this game or, you know, you could be sent home with one in your pocket. So. Sure. So Cam, you know, you, it's no secret to everyone that you and Corey were previously working together. Corey was idled out. Um, how, how do you go back to camp when your number one ally is now out of this game? And you've had to do it twice, actually, now that I say it aloud. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> yeah, rubbing it in. Um, I think what happens is that, like, people in Survivor talk about shields. Corey was my closest ally, but he also was a bigger threat in other people's eyes than I was. Uh, I feel like now I am Corey and Jake is Cam. So that's cool for us. Why what do you, do you say do? that Jake is know. now Cam? I mean, we're like, there are three Verdasa members left. I think that everybody is still thinking across team lines. And I mean, I don't know how, how to break that. I've reached out to other folks, not really gotten a huge response. What can you do? And Jake, how, how do you feel hearing Cam say that? Because that absolutely puts a target on your back, whether he intends to or not. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, I would, I would feel worse if I didn't feel like the target was already there, right? I don't think he's telling anybody anything that we don't all already know. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, it is what it is, right? Okay, so I, again, I'm just gonna keep it short tonight. It kind of feels like you guys have already made up your minds anyways, and you're really not giving me much to work with. So let's just go right into this vote. No, it's fine. I appreciate it. I don't mind it. Um, okay, so when I say your name, you will slack me directly with who you'd like to vote for. Uh, Casey, please slack me. Aaron? Slack is opening. Jake? Allison? Jerry? Cam? Deanna. Okay, I'm gonna count the votes. I'm going to ask that you guys all take out your phones, turn your lights on. Okay. Um, Aaron, are you frozen? I am frozen to you, but to me, you're coming in loud. Oh, I see you. Can you just turn your phone light on? That's oh, all is I that know. why? Okay, then I just wasn't hearing anything. <laughs> okay. Um, now, before I read the votes, does anyone have an idol that they would like to play? If so, now would be the time. Cam? This has been a really stressful day, and I think everybody's super nervous. So I just wanted to show everybody a picture of my dog, <laughs> Chloe. Because looking at her really calms me down and makes me feel happy. Chloe's gorgeous. I would love a calendar of 12 months of Chloe. Okay, so here we go. First vote, Jake. Second vote. Yes, Jerry? Never mind. I had already begun, Allison. So that's one vote, Jake, one vote, Allison. Jake, that's two votes, Jake, one vote, Allison. Allison, that's two votes, Allison, two votes, Jake. Jake, that's three votes, Jake, two votes, Allison. Allison, wait, did I, hold on. One, two, three. I just, oh was God. I just was counting wrong as I said it aloud. It's three Allison, three Jake, and the next person voted off and the fourth member of our jury is Allison. Allison, I'm sorry, but you have been, I, no, no, let me say it again. I'm sorry, but you have been banished from the island. Is there anything you want to say? You're muted. You got to unmute. She's going to try and use a necklace. I love it. Guys, um, I want to use this. It's a banishment reversal. Unfortunately, that is something you made yourself, but I do applaud the effort. Oh, and I no, love no, 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 Cole mailed it to me. 
<laughs> hey, this is the second time we've had this problem with Cole. Um, he's really, you know, pursued that art degree, Cole. Um, Allison, is there anything else you want to say before leaving the island? Yes, of course. Please give me as much time as Charlotte. I won't be speaking as quickly. Um, I, when I got cast, I essentially um, did, put my mindset to, to say, I'm gonna enjoy the ride until Kelsey tells me it's time to get off. And that's now. I wanted to thank the producers. You guys have been amazing. I wanna thank um, the, my friends and family who've been watching and really supportive. You guys have been amazing. For all the players that I had the opportunity to play with and chat with, my connections with you were real. Everything I told you about me, everything I told you that I was going on in my life were real. It was just the gameplay that I maybe lied to you about. Um, and also the biggest joy for me, like the biggest joy for me was getting um, most in over her head because uh, I've been playing this game hard since day one and I've pulled a lot of moves that most of you are not aware of and the expansion of like my universe of the strings I've been pulling, probably only the producers are completely aware of. So this was a good move on your part because I was definitely a threat even though I wasn't a super loud and obvious one. Allison, we have so enjoyed you being here. You were also one of our fans last season and we loved having you. Um, Ian and I are so thrilled to share our anniversary with you and your husband, oh. in case anyone wanted to know that fun fact. Um, and we thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're gonna ask that you please turn your video off and that jury please turn your video off as we move into this challenge. Um, and contestants, I'd like for you to make sure that you unmute yourselves. I see a few of you muted. Jake, I mean, okay, great. Okay, so the challenge today, guys, I'm so excited for this one. It is a two-part challenge. The first part of the challenge, hey, we're gonna bring those shoes back out and we are gonna Ooh. unlace and relace, but you're gonna have socks on your hands. So I'm gonna need you to go get some socks as well. Wait, not done. Let me explain the whole thing. This first part will determine your, how you'll go into the second round. The second thing will be a door hang. If you win first, you don't have to get on for a minute and a half. If you come in second, you don't have to get on for a minute. If you come in third, you get 30 seconds before you have to join that door. Whoever is last on the door hang will win immunity today. Okay, I'm gonna ask that you guys go get your socks and two shoes, please. Oh, geez, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Socks and two Imagine socks. Dad, how dare you call how me? Grommets? Grommets? How many grommets, Kelsey? Grommets? Um, I think five. Okay, so mine, I don't, my tennis shoelaces broke, like, oh, so, but at these, one, two, three, four, five, can I just unlace until the fifth one? Yeah, let me see. Sorry, they're one, just... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should be fine. And you need two shoes. You heard that, right, Aaron? Yes. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Um, Marissa's bringing my attention. I hope none of you are grabbing ankle socks. It has to go, like, over your hand. So it doesn't have to be, like, a wool sock, but... Okay, they are ankle socks, but they do go over my hand. Is that okay? Marissa, are you fine with that? I kind of need to see everyone else's for like fairness. Sure. Wow. Absolutely. You really have it out for Aaron this season. Mine are long, but Sorry. I can switch to small if I need to. Those are good. You said we only need five uh, loops. Also, these are going to be really hard to see, and I'm sorry in advance. Five, five. They need to be in five holes. Okay. Is this sock okay? Um, we're going to, we're going to, Marissa is going to be the sock determiner. Sweet. We're waiting for Jerry to join. So far, Cam has extra long socks and everyone else has shorter socks. So I'd say, okay. no, that's, you're the one following what we're asking for. True. Um, so I like win, the right? socks before we went and got them and I picked the cute ones. You're right, you're right. Getting um, a strong piece of my opinions today. I appreciate it. Did you say six holes or five? Five holes. Gosh, this is very precarious. Oh. 
Okay, so once you have everything, gonna need you to also tilt down your laptop so that we can see what you're doing. Yes, producers, I will need help keeping eyes. We just need to see the first, second, and third person. Um, Wait, and then we're having a door ways. hang. Wait, hold on. Everyone talked at once. I'm going to go with Aaron first. Aaron, what did you say? We're doing it. We're hanging off of a door, so I should kind of maybe move the table that's in front of my door. Yeah, that's a great idea. Jerry, what's your question? <laughs> uh, do, the, do the shoes start laced? Yeah, start laced, and then you'll have to un unlace them and relace them. Is it straight into the door hang or is it whoever? No, wins? it's once we've gotten through the first okay. three people, then we'll stop. I'll take a minute or so to reset them going, everyone going to the door. Um, yes. And as for shoe lacing, Marissa, we just said they're doing it the crisscross way, yeah, right? Just regular, how normal. Regular crisscross way. Oh, this is going to be awful. Um, Wait, I'm going to get different shoes. Okay, get, hurry up. I only have one option. It's really hard to take the laces out of these. Cam, you asked for a challenge. You got a challenge, my friend. Well, I predicted one. Casey, did you have a question? Yes, we start with them tied, correct? Correct. So, and we er, er, hold on one second, actually. We hadn't, we hadn't discussed that. Marissa, do you want them tied, like in a bow first? Sure. Okay, great. So, Aaron, take your socks off. Jake, Cam, tie a little bow. Okay, so Jerry, just one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can unlace those each one whole and then tie a bow so that they are laced. And one top on each hand. Yep. And Deanna, can I just look at your, okay, good. Making sure you're at five. We didn't want you to be at six. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Deanna, I need to put a bow on your shoe there. Oh, yeah. Literally so sorry. That's okay. Okay, once Deanna has her bow on. It's on. Okay, great. Um, Erin, can I have you tip your laptop down just a little bit more? Perfect. Okay, we are going to do just a little bit. Casey as well, can you tip it a little bit, your laptop? Thank you. Okay, can I get a, um, a sock up since you can't give me a thumbs up that you're good to go? Okay, great. We are going to begin in five, four, three, two, one, begin. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, we're just unlacing and releasing normal, right? Yep. Okay. Do they have to be unlaced first? Yeah, out. yeah you gotta unlace it all the way out and then you can begin. All the way out. Show me that lace. Yeah, Aaron. On both shoes, shoes or can we do one at a time? Deanna, go ahead. One shoelace at a time, or one shoe at a time. You're good, Casey. Okay, I'm placed. Aaron, yes. one shoe at a time. Oh. I good? You're good. Put it back in. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, do you hear us? You wow. have to do one shoe at a time. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. So out and then back in? Yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And just five holes, right? Correct. It's an okay. homage to your five tattoos. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> and yes, you, when you finish relacing it, you have to tie it in a bow. <sighs> Perfect. Whole feet. Good. Erin's on her second shoe. 
Jerry relacing his first shoe, Jake relacing his first shoe. My go-to move to the next one. Yep. Deanna finished her first shoe. Casey's unlacing her second shoe. Cam is still relacing his first shoe. Yep, you're good, Jake. Do the next one. Jake on a second shoe. We have to retie it too. Yeah, you gotta tie it in a bow. Uh, okay, Jerry. Jerry has finished his first shoe. I can barely tie my shoes normally. <sighs> Aaron getting close, Casey getting close, Deanna hot on her tail. Fun fact, there are a lot of ways to tie shoes. If you ever look it up, it's very fascinating. <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. Cam working really fast to try and catch up on his second shoe. Casey is good. Casey has won first place. Oh. She gets a minute. Aaron is good for second. Um, Deanna is frozen, so I can't tell. Done, done, done. Deanna, I think Deanna was done third. Yeah, it was Deanna. Okay, great. You can all stop. You can take your socks off. Now I'm going to ask you guys to go and find your door. Casey will get a minute and a half before she has to join. Erin will get a minute before she has to join. And Deanna will get 30 seconds before she has to join. Damn, that was we just hang on. You just hang on a door. Yep. Like so door. your hands can be over or underhand. That feels weird showing you like that. Yeah. And your feet are going to be in line with the door and you're going to be hanging. You can take a hand off, but the second you fall and move your feet, you're out of the game. Yeah, do you guys want to see Ian do it? He'll 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 demonstrate it. Yeah. Um go ahead. Also, Aaron, you're gonna have to move your laptop so that we can we're gonna need to see all you guys from the side. Sure. Oh, from the side. Uh, oh, yes, Jake. Do you have any I need to get I think everybody that saw my confessional today knows I don't have many doors in my apartment. You have zero doors. I they're all like this. It's like a door in the bathroom that's this big. I don't really I have anywhere that I can door and I did it, so I think you can find a door. Try it. Let me see it. Okay, go ahead. Is this situation going to work for me? Yeah, that's not what we're looking stuff. for. Yeah. Okay, so his feet are going to line your big toes or your, your heels. Your heels are going to be at the back of the or the front of the door. His hands are on. He's leaning forward, lean, and his arms are straight. Can you feet? Yeah. So, like, back your laptop up. Casey, what's your question? Back my laptop? Deanna, you're facing the wrong direction on the door. You're, face, you're going to be facing outward. So, we don't, so we're facing, like, out Me? from the door, yeah. right? <laughs> Can you need to see our feet? Time. Oh, like this way. Oh okay. So Everyone, shh, for one second, get back on that door, Ian. Sorry, Ian. No, yeah, that was he, correct, though. He should do this. This is great. Okay. No, face the other way. Okay, so his heels are lined up with the front of the door, and he's leaning forward. Can you lean forward more? Not very flexible. Okay, not very flexible, but he's leaning <laughs> forward. Does that make sense, Casey? Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Um, are there questions? So, Casey, your video has to be back enough so we can see your feet. So we have to be able to see your body. Okay, hold on. Jake, that should be okay, I think, actually. Can you see my feet? I don't think you can. No. Um, do you want to do a quick straighten to your hair before you get going? Yeah. Can I use these? Yeah, that's what it's for. Um, okay, Jerry, you seem like you're good. Okay, Cam, that's perfect. Casey, that'll be good. You just have to straighten your arms. Okay, great. Deanna, let me see you do one. Straighten your arms and butt not leaning against the door, and then you're good. Sorry, my butt's big. That's Thank okay. You. I got a big butt, too. Um, Aaron, let me see you do it. Imagine being the front of a, sh a beautiful ship. And you are the ornament on the ship. Mary. Um, I will, I think Casey's has to be moved back more because we can't see her feet. Okay, Casey, can you back your laptop up? 
please? Sure, I can. I'm okay. Thank you. you see my, what if I go, <laughs> my couch. <laughs> Jake, what about your front door? Oh, wait, Erin, you just had it in a good spot. Go back, push it back a smidge. You sh that should be good. Looking at it, you don't see the, my upper half. That's okay. Just we can see that you're leaning. Okay, great. Jake, that'll be good. Your heels only have to be where the front of the door is. So move your feet up. Yep, and then lean. And don't get impaled by the... God. Hey, Kat, are you there? You know it. What's um, up? Do you want to let them know if they have a roommate to stand by, what they should be stand by for? Yeah, so you're going to want someone who's going to have a glass of water in case, um, in case you're, like, um, upset or in case you get tired. But, like, mostly if you're upset because I'll just <laughs> warn you, this challenge is upsetting. <laughs> It's faint in case you're feeling faint or upset. Oh yeah, if I'm feel if you're feeling faint, and now I'm feeling faint because I just got put on the spot. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, Jake, Jake, are you gonna be okay there? Okay, Casey, Casey needs to tilt. Can you tilt your computer down just a smidge? Casey, just, yeah, so we can see your feet on the floor. Yeah, we have perfect. perfect. Yes. Um. Okay. So. Casey, Aaron, and Deanna, you guys do not have to start when I say start. I will let you know and I'll count you down when you have to get on there. Um, again, you can take a hand off if you need to, but if you step, falter forward, you are out. Are there any specific questions before we begin about what you can and cannot do? No. Arms, okay. arms straight? Arms See, straight, yeah. They have to be together against the door? What do you mean? Like, do my ankles have to be together, or does it really matter? Oh, no, you can put your foot on each side of the front of the door. Cool. Or, like, your heels on each side. Okay. Yep. Um, yes, you can bend your knees. Cody is reminding me you can bend your knees if you want to. Your arms just have to stay. Yep. Um, okay. We are going to begin. So, again, Casey, Aaron, Deanna, you do not have to start yet. Cam, Jake, and Jerry, we are going to begin in 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, begin. Jake, make sure your arms are straight and you're leaning forward. 15 seconds in. Okay, Deanna, you're gonna join in Five, four, three, two, one, begin. You're 30 seconds in. Aaron, you're gonna begin in 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Aaron is hanging, we're a minute in. Aaron, your feet have to scoot back. Your feet have to be in line with the, the heels in line with, there you go. Okay, in 15 seconds, Casey. Our heels don't have to touch the door though, right? Correct. Your heels has to be in line with where the door goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, Casey, lean. We are a minute and a half in. Jake, is your girlfriend home? Yeah. Can you just tell her to come in because the fans want to make sure that you're really doing what you, we think you're. Savannah. We just want some confirmation. Can you come here? Yeah, what do you need her to do? Is he is he fully leaning forward? His arms are straight? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I trust that. Take the thing and look. Okay, great. Oh, yes. Nice. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now, Amanda, while you're here, can you confirm, does Jake only own jeans? <laughs> uh, 
No, that's not correct. I own black jeans too. He owns black jeans too and a pair of red ones. And Savannah, what brand straightener do you use? Uh, it's a chi. I put it on there. P-H-I. <laughs> okay, we are two and a half minutes in. Two and a half minutes in. Thank you. I hope you don't have to go pee while this takes place. We have another bathroom. Here's the deal. Oh my completely. gosh, the flex. Her arms were just bent. Damn us. We have yeah. literally good yeah. back to stretch. <laughs> Cat, I can hear you whispering. We're three minutes in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sweaty. And now you wish you had the socks in your hands, I bet. <laughs> Slip yeah. on off the door. Any hands. Banana. Three and a half minutes in. Can you take well never mind. Is Savannah allowed to come take my glasses off? Oh Savannah and I called her Amanda. I'm so sorry. Yes, she can. Yeah. Savannah, come back in. I'm so sorry. My glasses off. Thank you. Thank you. Can we um, flip our grip? Like, can I put yeah, my hands the other way around? Yeah, but you're out. Cool. Four minutes in. Jerry taking one hand off to shake his arm. Everyone looking strong. We are now down to six people. We're going right into banishment after this. How important is it for you to win this challenge? Four and a half minutes in. You know, Kelsey, one of the things I like about this challenge is you get a sense of their homes because it's a wider frame shot. And do we think that Jerry lives with an influencer based on the amount of packages in his doorway? <laughs> yeah, probably in a boxer, I'd assume. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> None of you are wrong. <laughs> yes, thank you. Britt just texted me to remind me this went on for 22 minutes last season. Do you guys want to uh, go for 22 minutes? We're five minutes in. Very fun time. You guys just can't see my face. Aaron, are you speaking? Yeah, can you not hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, but it's hard to know what's going from coming from you. Uh, okay. You guys are right next to my air Six minutes in, six minutes in. Ooh, we're getting live fan interaction on if they want to make this chat more challenging for you guys at different intervals. Cat is the only one arguing that we shouldn't make it more difficult for you. Thank you, Cat. <laughs> Good looking out. Thank you. Um, I, will, I will say I thought it should be more difficult for you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. We are almost seven minutes in. Listen, fans, if you guys can decide at the 10 minute mark how you want to make it more difficult, I'm open to it. Seven minutes, five seconds in. Bernice. 
Yep, you can bend your knees, just keep your arms straight. We are almost eight minutes in. Oh, Cam trying to blow some sweat off his hands. <laughs> Maybe I was serious just... <laughs> when I posted, how do I make my hands stop sweating all the time? <laughs> um, Maybe you shouldn't have eaten greasy popcorn right before. Just kidding. <laughs> popcorn so much. <laughs> I think this is the first challenge that I told my friends about um, for last season. And I was like, can you believe that? They leaned against, they leaned away from their door for 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. Now look at you. <laughs> look how far we have all come. <laughs> we are eight minutes, 45 seconds in. Nine minutes in. What? Nine minutes, 55 seconds in. Okay, we are 10 minutes in, Marissa. Oh, no. you, you guys are gonna move your feet back to be toes in line with the front of the door. Ah. Okay. When, when might we do that? Is this a live transition? Oh. Yeah, it's do it now. Live transition, scoot your feet back so your toes are in line with the, the front of your door. <laughs> Deanna is out. Deanna is out. We are ten and a half minutes in. Hug that door. Yeah, can we hold onto the door at all? No. <laughs> I met with your legs, not your arms. Wait, so we can still keep our arms straight though, right? Yeah, you gotta keep your arms straight. You guys are sick. I'm gonna get 911 ready if I fall here. We are 11 minutes in, and I would like to kindly remind all of you that you auditioned to be on this show. Oh, Jesus. Um, Jake, I am concerned though. Like, please don't just like fall and impale yourself on the corner of. I will do my best. Okay. I feel like if you have breasts, it's a disadvantage. Elaborate. My breasts are very heavy, Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, Aaron is out. I'm sorry, Aaron, to you and your breasts. Um, Jake, keep your arms straight. <laughs> you know, one could argue, though, that the advantage to not continuing this is you can start your gameplay. We are going into a banishment right after this, and while you guys are all stuck on this door, the people who are out of the game could start figuring out who they're voting for next. Twelve minutes in. Jake, your name was written down at this last banishment. You could have gone home. Do you need to win this tonight? Yes. <laughs> Shit, fuck. I'm out. 
Jake, you can't swear on this show, okay? <laughs> the family show. Explicitly told me I could. I did explicitly tell you. Ah. Twelve and a half minutes. Okay. Um, when we get to the 14 minute mark, you can no longer take your hands off the door. We are 12 minutes, 45 seconds in. Oh. 13 minutes in. Last time Casey won the endurance challenge, we really only went five minutes on that wall sit. Cam's falling, you guys. Push through here. Wow, Aaron is blatantly hoping for Casey and Jerry to win so that Cam does not win. When has Cam ever done anything that's been good for me? <laughs> I don't know, Aaron, because you're still in this game. That's a good point. Thanks a lot, Cam. <laughs> you're welcome. I did it all for you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 30 uh, minutes, 45 seconds. Once we get to the 14 minute mark, no taking your hands off the door. Fourteen minutes in. Kelsey, look at Cam's. Cam, you gotta have straight arms. Oh. Cam is out. It is 14 minutes and 30 seconds in. It's between Casey and Jerry. Cam, turn your video off yeah. whenever you get a chance. Thank you. Jerry and Casey, both cool as a cucumber. I, I stole that from corn. Fifteen minutes in. Fifteen and a half minutes in. Sixteen minutes in. Casey is off. Jerry has won immunity. Wow. 16 minutes. Great job, Casey and Jerry. I'm going to ask, or I'm going to, uh, contestants, I'm going to, yeah, hopefully you guys can all hear me. I'm going to give a five minute running clock right now. You can turn your videos off if you want. You have five minutes to strategize and then we will return for uh, banishment. Casey, will you just turn your video off whenever you got a second and no, no stress. Um, I don't know. Does anyone want to join? We have five minutes, guys. Oh, it's Ian and my mom and dad. Hi. <laughs> you guys are muted. I can't hear you, dad. Hey. It's Elisa. Woo. How's your knee, Elisa? It's really good. I can somewhat bend it now and I can sort of walk on it. Have you, are, can you get back into the pool or no? Um, not yet. I think after my next appointment, I should be able to. I'm starting physical therapy soon, so I should be able to. Okay, great. 
I feel like mom's telling you to turn the camera off, dad. So I'm going to say bye to you now. Okay, I'm going to go now. No, you could stay on. Okay. Stay Hello. on and enjoy and chat. Um, Ian, just join in here. Yeah, where are my headphones? I don't know I love where it. your headphones are. Alisa, will you be applying to the next season if we have one? Yes, I will. Okay. Will you be playing like Ashley played? No, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be making a vote in a, in a blind blackout? No. I, I, I have learned from Ashley and I have learned from uh, this season that I, I, I know what I can do now to somewhat do well. Okay, great. Um, Kat is going to pop on real quick. She's going to tell us, she's going to give us a fundraising update. And also Kat wants to say hi to Elisa. Oh, oh my God. You know that that's the reason I'm really coming on. I do. <laughs> well, look, I look like a ghost. Like You're a ghost. ghost. It's like four Um, hi, Elisa. Hi. How are Hello. you? I'm really good. I'm really good. I got to see my friends today, so I'm very happy. I'm so happy to see your face. I'm happy to see your face, too. I haven't been able to yet. Oh, well, this is really nice. Um, I just wanted to give everyone a quick fundraising update. Um, Elisa's behind me. Um, I also wore my gayest shirt today. Um, I feel really gay in this shirt, and I really like it. That's not why I... Um, wanted to come on. So you guys, I just wanted to update you that we have raised over a thousand dollars from our auction and people continuing to donate. Oh God, I just got another Venmo as I was saying this, which is really nice. And um, so far we have We've been able to pay over $200 to each of the five organizations that we picked the other night, which is really exciting. And I just wanted to say, I'll continue to accept all your Venmo requests always. I also do supply runs for Brave Space Alliance, which is one of the organizations here in Chicago. So if you want to Venmo me ever for a cause, please do. But um, soon we will be starting our votes for fan favorite. So also keep in mind that you can put $5 towards that pool and the fan favorite gets to decide um, where those donations go. And last season we were able to donate to, um, to the Nav Navajo Nation as well as, what was the other one, Kelly? The Minnesota Freedom Fund. The Minnesota Freedom Fund, yeah. So we were able to give, I think each of them, uh, like $200 or $100 and then $300 something how we split it up. But yes, so thank you all so much for your generous support and continue with that. And um, thanks for letting me come hey, on everyone. Kat, Kat. What? Who won fan favorite um, last season? Um, Mary Holland. Got a boot. And Kat, my dad, I don't know if Becca's there. I assume she is, but my dad has That's been- I know that's Elise Butterfield. My dad has been asking every single day, will we be auctioning off Becca's immunity painting? Because he even pointed out a place on the wall he wants to put it on. So two, three things about that. First of all, Becca is here, but she's in a towel again, so I'm not allowed to show her. <laughs> Second, second, um, we are going to be auctioning off. Okay, that's proof. We are going to be auctioning off that painting. Um, we, I guess we probably will do that during the reunion, like finale and reunion, because I think that would be really fun. Um, and then third, Keith, you have to check with Maria first, because from what I've learned of her taste, I don't know if she's going to want to. No, look at the painting over. right above her head. It says, nice hat that's with boobs out. There's boobs everywhere. There's boobs everywhere in my mom's house. <laughs> it's okay. fine. Okay, I get so it's not yucky. It's getting, it's, it's getting lovely. Awesome. It's lovely. lovely. Maddie also really wants it, so. There, you're going to be in a bidding war. Just a heads up. <laughs> Okay, Hi, our, Hi, our five okay, minutes bye. has elapsed, so I'm going to kick you all off and ask our contestants to join back on. Thank you, Elisa, for joining us. We love you. Love you, too. <laughs> I only see three of you. Barry voted. I see Aaron, I see Casey, and there is Jerry. Okay, um... Let's let's chat for a bit, shall we? Wow, what a wild 
Cam, you were one of the final three. Oh yeah, Jury, come back on. Okay, Charlotte, no, put that away, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Good job, Charlotte. Good job, Charlotte. Jerry is living their best life right now. Um, oh my God. I'm concerned Cole doesn't know how to take a shower correctly, but we'll get to that later on. Um, so, Cameron, you were one of the final three. You were so close. It felt like Aaron was vocally calling on you to lose. How did you, were you surprised to hear that? It felt like that. <laughs> I did it, Kelsey. Were you surprised to hear that? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I also want to apologize for how loud my breathing apparently was. <laughs> no, that's okay. We accept it. Listen, I wanted, I wanted to listen to some jams while I was doing it. Oh, were you listening to music? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was very smart. Um, so Casey, you were so dang close. Really could have been yours and you won the last endurance challenge. It just became too hard at the end there? Yes, my hands were so freaking sweaty. Um, was I like couldn't get in my knees for buckling and my, the whole thing. It was um, awful. Were, how important was it for you to win tonight? You know, we heard Jake and Cam both state it was important for them to win, which makes it seem like they think they're going home. I don't know, have we seen your name written down yet once? Maybe once, I think. Were you, was it important for you to win tonight? Yeah, my name has been written down twice so far and it was extremely important for me to win tonight because it's always a fear that you're gonna go home. And I just felt like if I could get the immunity, then that would just be one day that I could stay longer and it just didn't work out. So it was extremely important, but didn't work out. Sure. So, Aaron, it's going to be an interesting vote because it's three OG Verdasa, three OG Mora Mora. Allison just went home. She was on the original Mora Mora. It was a four to three, which leads me to believe that someone flipped. H how are you, you know, feeling going into this vote? It, it could be a deadlock. We could very well see rocks. You know, um, and I think rocks happened at this, you know, banishment ceremony last season. I wouldn't be surprised to see us go to rocks tonight, Kelsey, and, you know, bring, it, bring on the luck. Okay, so, Jerry, you, you just won, so you can't, you can't go home tonight, even if we bring out the rocks. So, and you won last time, and we've seen you play an idol. How important was it for you to win tonight? It was very important. I feel like I might have been the next target and because, I don't know, um, I had that idol, people like immediately put a target on my back and, um, you know, at the last time people voted me four times and I feel like that's a sign and so it was really important for me to win this one. Okay, so Deanna, you hear Erin say that she's comfortable going to rocks. How does that make you feel? Are you comfortable um, going to rocks? Yeah, honestly, there's nothing that we can do at this point, and it's something that um, I felt like has been in the future at this six per people vote. Um, so it's definitely something that I've considered, and I'm totally comfortable doing. Interesting. Okay, so Jake, one of the downsides of this double banishment is it doesn't give you time to plead a case, and it doesn't give time for producers to drop any sort of clue for advantages, idols, anything like that. Um, so how how is this differ from when we do give you time? Like how does it feel different from when we do give you time between challenge and banishment? Uh, every minute that is given to us in this game is the time that the plan can change. The, the things change so quickly and so frequently in this game that even like an hour is enough to completely change everything that you think about this game. So time is incredibly important and not having it is uh, devastating. That's maybe the biggest asset you can have in this game is time to work something out, so. Okay, so Deanna, you were one of the first, one of the first people off. Did you, felt like, did you feel like that was somewhat helpful because then you kind of can start thinking about and strategizing how to approach this next banishment? Um, Kind of, but I 
I really didn't do, I was just kind of in shock of like, still thinking about having to go to an instant banishment immediately after the challenge. Um, you know, it wasn't as much time as I thought it was going to be like, after, like it, I don't know, I, I didn't do much. I kind of felt like everyone had their mind made up um, and there weren't many open doors to kind of go ahead and knock. Um, mm -hmm. So I kind of just gave up. So Cam, you know, I mentioned it before, it was a four to three that got Allison out again, which leads me to believe that the lines of OG and Verdasa, someone had flipped, you feel that then, okay, there are cracks, there's stuff I can work with. Maybe we won't have to go to rocks tonight. I mean, that's the hope. That's what I want to have happen. I mean, like, yeah, I didn't expect to make it to this vote. So I wasn't super, like, I didn't have plans for now. Here are words I'm talking. So you're, you're saying you thought it was going to be your name instead of Jake's written down in the last mm -hmm. banishment. Yeah. And I didn't think that someone would flip. Like, Jake, were you surprised to see your name written down? No, I'm, I think Cam and I have both been feeling like it was us that banishment for a long time. I mean, Cam is uh, obviously an idol magnet and I'm obviously a safe choice next to someone who's an idol magnet. So it's, we both have very good reasons to vote for us. So Aaron, we're getting closer, very close to the final banishment. Are, are you fully like, okay, I need to think about who I want to be sitting next to, both people? Or are you only thinking of like, it'd be great if I could make it to the end with person X? Um. I mean, you know, for me, I think I've known who I've wanted to sit next to for most of the game. Like, I had a, you know, pretty clear group of people who I was working with. And, you know, for me, it's not a million dollars. So I won't, I don't feel the need to cut the throats of the people who helped me have so much fun in this game. Mm -hmm. So I, I would be happy to sit next to truly any of these people because they're all great people. But there, there are definitely people that I'm rooting for. Okay. So Casey, you were on the original Mora Mora team with Aaron and Jerry. How does it feel to hear Aaron say, it sounds like she's referencing one person specifically, could be you, could be Jerry. How does it feel? Yes. I mean, I think that that- She's referring to you? No, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she's referring to me or if she's referring to Jerry. I just think that there's a, you know, this game is such a social game and you've got to figure out who you can trust and who you can't trust and you have to kind of figure it out early and stick with your people. And if not, then lines get blurred really fast and that's when mass chaos happens. Okay, so the panic doesn't, is not the way to go. Um, Jerry, are you feeling panicked or are you, I mean, you have a necklace around your, an invisible necklace around your neck, but are you feeling panicked because, you know, you've gotten this far with having alliances and if you are safe, that could mean that an alliance of yours is on the chopping block. It, it definitely is panicky. Um, I mean, but this entire game, I've been in a panic and in constant stress and having night sweats and waking up insanely early so uh, it's nothing new okay so uh with that we will begin voting when i say your name you're going to slack me directly with who you'd like to vote for we're going to begin with jake deanna Jerry. Casey. Cam. Aaron. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna count the votes. I'm gonna ask that you guys please pull out your phones and turn your lights on. Okay, now before I read the votes, does anyone have an idol that they would like to play? In this one, she's sticking her tongue out. <laughs> it's like so cute. Okay, gonna begin. Uh, Kelsey, I, I've been holding on to this thing since day two on this island. And I would like to play this on Aaron. That is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes for Aaron will not count. First vote, Aaron does not count. Second vote, Aaron does not count. Third vote, Aaron does not count. Fourth vote, Cam. Fifth vote, Cam. Our fifth person on the jury is Cam. Cam, you've been banished. Please turn off your phone light. Is there anything you want to say before you go? Um, I don't know. I don't have a big speech prepared. I'm amazed to, at everybody who's made it this far. Um, also at myself. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Uh, this game hasn't always been fun. It's been super stressful all the time. Uh, there's lots of highs and lots of lows. And, you know, good luck to the five of you. <laughs> I'm excited to get to sleep for once. Um, so thank you, Cam, for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you. I'm gonna miss seeing all the 100 rooms in the hotel that you live in, um, but you will be the next member of our jury. Everyone else, thanks for coming tonight. We will have a post-show tonight. It is with Ben will be hosting tonight, Cat's Chat, Cat Chats. Um, tomorrow, please tune in at, what's tomorrow? When is tomorrow Wednesday? Tomorrow's Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It will be going a little bit later tomorrow, or we're starting a little bit later tomorrow. So make sure you tune in then. Um, everybody else, thank you for being here and have a good night.